It was an incredible, exhausting, but exhilarating trip. And it was all about finding the essence of each community. We are unique here because we were shaped by, by the sea. This is a very hard working part of this country. The harbor defines Halifax. The harbor yeah, defines. Yeah, we're not the harbor. You, you haven't got a Halifax. You don't have Dartmouth or Halifax here in yeah. Joran. Depending on the time of day, depending on what the weather is like, the color of the Atlantic Ocean and the harbor changes. And the people that were there uh, that we spoke to said, yeah, the ocean is everything. I mean, it's in your soul, it's, it's in, your, in your blood and everything. The, the water and the harbor shaped Halifax. What do people think of Halifax? You know, lobsters and lighthouses. I, just, I think the city's changing, but I don't think it's an abandonment of our roots. I think it's an embracement of our roots and an acceleration of them. We're really at this interesting intersection in uh, the history of Halifax, in time, in place of the old and the new. And you know, we see the Wanderers Grounds as being the perfect, uh, the perfect place to sit at the crossroads of all of those uh, different ideals that are melting now into Halifax. And I think that's what it'll be about. It'll be about this community and where this community's been and where this community's going. People spoke, and right from the very beginning, when we met at this beautiful old brewery, the Alexander Keats Brewery, we had uh, probably the biggest supporters rally and focus group that we've had on our travels. And really, the name came out of a Twitter account, and yet it was inspired by the Wanderer's Grounds. You know, wandering in this case is not about finding a home, it's about having a home and having to leave thousands of kilometers to go play your game and everybody was very attached to that name and when the people say that we're attached to something you have to listen. Mm -hmm.